Hi, I'm Clara. Today I'm going to share a guidance of the handheld laser welding machine. It's kind of teaching video, show you how to start and operate the handheld laser welder. If you could find some useful points in it, I will be very glad. If you are first time being here, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's quite useful channel. You should focus. Before the operation, we need to highlight some points. It's important relating the safety and machine maintenance. Please take them seriously. Number one, the machine is with 220 watt 50 HZ single phase. Please make sure the input power is qualified and consistent to the machine requirements. Number two, the P wear must be grounded. Number three, when the machine is not in use temporarily, please shut down the laser beam immediately. Number four, it's forbidden to shoot the welding gun to anything alive. Number five, it's suggested strongly to wear the protective goggles before welding. Number six, professionals only. Let's get a brief of the machine operation and we'll introduce them one by one. When we receive the machine and pack the box, we need to make some simple installations. The fiber wear holder, please find the case and screw it on. It's simple. Then it's the wear fader. We need to put the wear in, get the wear hose connected, and install the wear holder. The hose is right. You can find it inside the fader together with the power line of the fader. To connect the warehouse, we just need to do oppositely as the video shows. The way to put the wire in and install the holder, please check the details in the video. But please do choose a suitable wire like 1.0, 1.2, 1.5, stainless steel, iron, or aluminum. Attention, the wire diameter should be the same as the slot size on the ring. Each ring will have two different sizes, like 0.8 and 1.0. You just need to find the correct one to run the wire.
The same, the wear nozzle here should also be the same size as the wear diameter. Now we need to connect the data wire to the fader. It's at the back of the machine and take out the power line, plug it in the cable. Notice 220 volt and 50Hz. Connect the gas hose. It should be argon or nitrogen and the pressure should be between 2 to 4 kPa. Then we need add water in the tank. It should be pure water and the water should reach to the green range. After all those installations, we can connect the power. It's 220 volt 50Hz. Please get to the correct power and the ground wire should be connected. Turn on the air switch at the back of the machine and then the emergency switch. We can see the trailer is running and check whether the water temperature is more than 20 degrees. If less than 20, please don't turn on the laser power. There will be alarm displaying. Over the period, we can adjust the wear feeder. Turn on the fader. We don't need to adjust the parameters here. All settled down. What we need to do is to check whether the wear is running automatically. We can click the button here to check whether the wear will go forward. When the temperature is over 20 degrees, we can press the button laser in the PC. It's not okay to weld now. We need to check whether the gas is running normally. When the laser is not enabled, we can press the button here to check whether the gas is blowing out. There should be gas sound. And then we can adjust the parameters. According to customers, only the power needs to be adjusted in most conditions. But it's open for you to try other parameters and check the welding differences. The code for adjusting is the number from 1 to 6. When we finish the parameters, we can enable the laser here. Make the button to blue. The focus position, keep it at zero, will be fine. Please wear the protective glasses, it's important. Now we can try to weld. This is a protective clip. When we weld, we need to clap it on the welding target and make the tip of the torch nozzle contact with a welding plate so that the stroke can be a closed loop and the laser can image energy. It will also show in the controller when it's a loop, which we can make the welding successfully. The point here should be a green one. If it's a gray dot, meaning there's not laser beam emitting and welding is not possible. Sometimes we can also put the clip to the wire holder. It will keep the loop enclosed. No need to clamp the clip to the target metal plate, but there will also be some dangers out there. If the welding is not fine, we can repeat to adjust the parameters and then get a better one. If we don't need to weld now temporarily, please do remember to shut down the laser. We can disable the enable button or turn off the laser power. 
Please shut down the machine when we are off working, and the water in trailer should be replaced regularly. The gas should be clean. The temperature difference between the room and the trailer should be within five degrees, or there will be moisture in the welding head and cause bigger problems. Please be careful when replacing the protective lens. And last, please check the manual first before start working. That's it. If you have some doubts, please leave it in the comment below. I will try my best to reply to you and make a short for you. See you next Sunday. Bye.